Hello, beautiful souls. Hello, hello. Welcome to this wonderful day that we are in. <laughs> I tend to sing when I speak. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Definitely home alone. I think it's just windy. So the door closed. Okay. How is your day going so far? How are you? Take a time to just feel into your body right now. Feel into this moment that we get to have right now. Mm. I'm just testing, testing some music. We are in the Scorpio vibe still. If you haven't seen my da -da 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 -da, my video yesterday about the vibes, the Scorpio vibes, where we are today energetically on this beautiful plane. It's so important to know and understand your energy and how you show up energetically in this world, in this existence, in this life. And astrology is actually a really great way to do it. I have found that throughout our existence, we've kind of just looked at astrology as just this silly thing, this, oh, you know, you can't base your personality off of this and blah 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 there's just a really deep amount of stigma attached to astrology and something that i always like to lean on is to just just go with the research just do your own research um look at how the energies coincide with how you feel think about just how you are and how you've been within your life and see if it aligns with your natal chart or your birth chart okay and so Okay, so um, just take that into account. A really big key of this existence, a really big key of, of showing up in this existence is knowing who you are. And you're going to hear me talk about that a lot. Welcome to meditation and self-love. <laughs> oh my goodness. Um, we're going to talk about self-knowledge a lot because self-knowledge is beyond important because when you are knowledgeable of yourself and you know who you are when you stand in the foundation of you you cannot be swayed you cannot be told who you are how you are where you stand on something and if you are indeed allowing yourself to be silenced within that moment turn it around don't run and ask yourself why am i silencing myself in this okay observe yourself taking these actions and then take the step back and say why ask yourself why am i silencing myself in this or why do i not feel compelled to speak up what is happening here we talked a little bit about this yesterday about the question sessions how to use this time to uh, get to the bottom of what you want to get to the bottom of with yourself you do not grow by having something come up and then pushing it down you don't grow by having something be um, brought to light for you and then um, drink or smoke or play video games for hours or drown yourself in the people that you surround yourself in fixate on someone else's problem, fixate on work. These are all things that are keeping you outside of yourself. I want you to just pause. Pause in life and really, really take it in and think about the things that consistently come up for you and take this time, this Scorpio energy to ground it all and figure it, in, figure it out. 
get yourself a journal get yourself a blank piece of paper i am the queen of grabbing just like a blank piece of copy paper and just writing all over it just getting all of the thoughts out of like this is what i'm thinking this is how i am feeling right now or this is these are the thoughts that i don't really want to uh come up at the moment but it just is what it is don't run away from yourself because it literally just keeps coming back. It comes back over and over and over. And this is the time. This energy is the time to stop and breathe and really just allow it to saturate within you. Allow the thoughts to be. Allow the thoughts to exist. No. And just try not to run away from them during this energy the scorpio energy it's just it's gonna keep coming and if you are stopping at every every single block or every lesson that comes up then you're keeping the one that's coming up from getting to you you're keeping the next lesson like imagine this whole week is about transmuting the shadows of the time when you were in school and you weren't invited to the sleepover <laughs> if you were if that thought came up to you because you're about to go to some um some woman event that reminds you of the time when you weren't invited to the sleepover when you were a child okay now you push that thought down push that thought back and you say i don't want to think about that right now i'm just going to drink and and get over it that thought's gone for now until you bring light to it again or until it comes up again so now guess who's going into this sleepover this women's brunch this women's thing with all of that weight on them and the, the rumination of, oh, this person's thinking this way. Oh, this person's looking that way. This person doesn't care about my outfit. This person, blah, 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 blah. All of the things. And that's just one area of your life. And I know that was kind of a... Well, I don't know what kind of example that was. But it's definitely one of those things where... Maybe it does seem silly right now to think about it, but your inner child, yourself within, thought that was important to bring up right now that time that you weren't invited to the sleepover. I don't know who I'm channeling. Maybe it's from, maybe it's my inner child talking about it today, but <laughs> that's great. Um, but yeah, there are other things. There's going to be times when you're like mourning a relationship or a friendship or something of the sort. And it's going to be like, they did this to you, your brain. Your brain's going to be like, they did this to you. And you get to take that time to, to ponder it, to face it, say, well, I understand they did that to me, but, you know, that's just where they were in their life and their healing and their journey. They treat people the way that they are healed or unhealed. And that's how I was just the person in their life that they had to treat at that time. It's not personal at this point. I can't sit here and keep taking things personally within my life that other people are doing within their journey. Because a lot of times, and I just have to do a whole thing on this, is it's not personal. Other people's actions and reactions and interactions with you, they're not personal. And you may take that personally. Well, how come it's not personal? My goodness. Isn't it freeing and wonderful to know that you are the curator and creator of your life and you don't have to think about those silly questions, what someone else is thinking about you or wondering about you or if they are thinking, you don't have to worry about that. Imagine how free you'd be not having to think about that, not having to think about others in such a deep way that, that it's hindering your life. It's literally hindering your next step in life by overthinking about what people are going to think about you when you are at your highest and full expression. No. <laughs> Don't do that. Come back to self. So we come back to self-knowledge and which comes back to meditation as well. Self-knowledge is going to always be your grounding 
always ground yourself within your self-knowledge and what i mean by that and i made a post about this today about community so what i mean about getting to know your self-knowledge and grounding yourself within your self-knowledge is stopping and feeling meditating being still being silent even talking it out saying some things at some point and just being still and feeling into your body and to understanding. So once you're meditating, you get to notice and notate different parts within your body that are sending you messages, that are sending you signals from within that maybe you would not have encountered if you were not sitting still or if you had not done the thing that you said that you were going to do, which is stop and meditate and it's something beautiful when you start to get to know yourself more because you get to show up in places wholly you just 100 percent wholly you and you don't have to edit yourself you just get to exist and people get to experience you and i think that's one of the main things about our society and our existence is that it just pushed on us to be like other people. Or there's that underlying energy of, oh, I should be like the most liked person in the room. When you're really just observing that that person is the most liked in the room. Nobody has told you, said, made an announcement, anything of the sort, that that is how you need to act. No one said that. That person did not even say, hey, give me all the attention. They are simply existing in who they are and they are drawing a lot of attention to them. And so here the people are who are drawing to them and here you are on the outside thinking, I've gotta be more like that. And I just wanna let you know that that's you. That is a block that you are creating for yourself. When you envision somebody of something that you want it's envy there's envy there's jealousy there's things along that nature and they're normal animal things it's just up to you to be able to notice that and transmute it and turn it into oh wow this, i had a shadow based around somebody living in their light being in their light and now i notice that and i know that i get to now be myself unapologetically and just push that out. I don't have to edit myself just because people are different. And so that's what I'm here to do. I am here to be my authentic self, show up in my vessel and however I feel like showing up in. That way, all of you can understand it is okay to be your authentic self. Be you, okay? Don't try to be like me. Don't try to be like people around you. Be yourself. Love yourself. Yes, love yourself. I love it. Keep writing that, proclaiming it, saying it out loud. I love myself and I'm sending so much love to you. So I've just talked a lot because I really had to channel that message. I had to channel that, just the self-knowledge and the community. Because there are a lot of shadows based in the community. There's so many shadows. Many, many people would like to just rather sit at home than step into the community, into the other human beings, into the other souls. Because it's so scary sometimes and there's so many variables and so many different types of people. You don't want to be the odd one out. Be the odd one. Be the weirdo. Say the stuff, okay? Okay? Just be. So we're going to take a moment to breathe in all of this. All of this that I've just said and all of the, the self-knowledge, the self-love and just marinate in it, okay? This right here is an example of something that you do when you feel like there's too much energy pulling at you from outward and you need to bring it in. Find a place to sit, a comfortable place to rest, to spend the next three, five, ten minutes, 20, 30, however long you can give yourself. It's a gift. It's an absolute gift. So take this moment and just invite some deep breaths into your body. Mm. 
water, what a blessing. Invite <sighs> some deep breaths into your soul, into your vessel. I see, I see. drums <sighs> deep deep breath feel your chest expand your lungs expand <sighs> release any stagnant energy that may be sitting in your body in your chest Hmm. Feel your shoulders go back, your spine align. As many deep breaths as it takes. <clears throat> Feel that lightness beginning to rise to the crown of your head. Just keep breathing into your vessel. Watch and observe what your soul has to say.
bite some deep breaths. What was that, like five minutes, six, seven minutes? <laughs> it just, it takes you somewhere for sure. You're just like daydreaming, just daydreaming, watching your thoughts, watching them come, watching them go. Sometimes I laugh at my thoughts because they're just so silly and just so random. There's a place in meditation when you receive that bliss moment. The moment of, wow, everything is beautiful and fine and an alignment and just great <laughs> you might even you might even see or like feel it when you just feel this sense of happiness you feel a little bit of a smile come to you while you're meditating the lightness in your cheeks <laughs> an eternity <laughs> it really does feel like a long time it does and then it just gets easier and better and yeah it does just feel like a long time it's pretty fun to begin um just seeing how long you can go and then seeing how long it's been like me doing these lives this is my third time third week of these lives go me um and i'll be doing it i'm not timing us at all i'm just doing it i'm like that feels like eight minutes or something and then i'll open my eyes and it's been like four or five and i'm like okay cool yeah cool but it gets just easier and flows more and then a lot of times you'll find yourself wanting that moment especially at like parties or um social situations you'll find yourself just like let me go take a moment to myself gosh parties parties are wild <laughs> You're just jumping from conversation to conversation, never taking time for yourself. I'm known at parties to just disappear. I disappear multiple times throughout the night because like I'm on a walk or I'm like outside looking at a tree. I'm just taking all these, t these different spaces for myself so that I can breathe because otherwise it does just feel like you're in other people's energy just to be all up in other people's energy. It's like, you don't need that. You don't need to be engulfed in other people's energies. I mean, yeah, you're at a party, but you don't have to um, just be <laughs> conversation after conversation after, ah, it's like, oh my goodness. So this is a social weekend. It is October, Halloween coming up. So I just want to put that forward for you. The moments that we are here can so easily be the moments that you take with yourself um, to, to ground yourself back into where you'd like to be energetically. So say you are at a party and somebody with just like really big energy comes and, and has just like taken everything that that you have left. Just take the time 
go outside for a moment and just breathe. Just breathe outside for a moment. And I heard something that was like, people that smoke are going, they're bound to be more zen in that moment that they're smoking because they have literally taken the time outside and they're breathing. They're inhaling and they're breathing. They're alone with themselves. They're thinking their thoughts. It's a meditative state. It's a meditative action too to separate self from whatever is going on and to just breathe and calm. So take away the smoke, take away the the contraption in which you are going to breathe with and do it with yourself. Stand with yourself outside, take a break from work, go get some vitamin D on your, on your, um, on your skin, and just breathe. Take away the external things because it's all within. Just begin breathing with yourself. Begin meditating with yourself and show up. Midday like this is such a great time because... Well, there's a lot of energies pulling at us in the morning. And when do we get the time to stop and pause and be? We don't. So let's see how many minutes you can meditate. How many a day? How many times a day can you meditate? Mm. Challenge yourself. Challenge your soul. Mm. Mm. Thank you for showing up for yourself for showing up for your soul. You are the power in your life, you beautiful being. You are so amazing. And there's so much to love about you, so much to honor, so much to cherish and hold. Hmm. Always remember that. That is your power, your safety your love, your self-love is liberation. It's liberation. We release all that no longer serves. Pull it from you no longer inside of you and on the full moon this week you will release and manifest what it is you are cultivating in your life beautiful soul Mm, allow that energy free goodbye thank you for your time I'm now aligned and divine timing. Deep breath. (sighs) Let it out. (sighs) Let it out. Breathe into your body. (sighs) 
and release. Love yourself, beautiful soul. Every part of you. And get out into the community. You got it. I believe in you. Have a beautiful day. Goodbye.